I'm Alyssa Vales, and I'm a professor in the English department at Tulane, and my book is titled Regenerating Romanticism, Botany, Sensibility, and Originality in British Literature, 1750 to 1830. Regenerating Romanticism argues that within key texts of Romantic aesthetics, the poet, naturalist, and physician Erasmus Darwin, the grandfather of Charles Darwin, became a straw man or easy target, enabling William Wordsworth and other now canonical male writers and theorists to denigrate the period's scientific literature as lacking the very qualities that it in fact sought to achieve, particularly originality and sensibility. The success of this straw man tactic in establishing romantic principles resulted in the historical devaluation of numerous male and especially female imaginative authors of scientific poems and novels, creating a paradox of misunderstandings regarding the aesthetic intentions of the era's scientific literature that continues to hinder or mislead scholars of romanticism even today. This book thus renovates understandings of sensibility and its importance to the late 18th and early 19th century movement of scientific literature within genres such as poetry, novels, travel writing, children's literature, and even literary criticism that obviously and technically engage with the natural sciences, and especially with botany, by male and female writers, including Charlotte Smith, Anna Seward, Mariah Riddell, Anna Barbo, and Sidney Owenson, among many others. My hope is that this book will get more people thinking about late 18th and early 19th century women writers' fascinating contributions to science and scientific literature, as well as how we might question or clarify familiar narratives about what caused their historical exclusions from scientific institutions and the literary canon. And in this way, I hope to see more of those women's scientific literature explored in scholarship and in classrooms so that we can increasingly understand how and why these women were engaging with the sciences, especially in their literary works.